said, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, let me send this guy up on this bitch. Let's fucking go! What?! What even is that? The thing that we're going to do here is we're going to modify the way that sigils work so that they teleport you to nightmare dungeons on use. So they, they teleport you or do they create a place to a waypoint to the dungeon? They, they will create a, a, a waypoint that allows you to teleport. But yes, you'll be able to teleport to. That's an important distinction. Right. Um, but the effect is that you'll be able to teleport. One step to closer to rifts in D3. And you'll be able to loop from the end of a nightmare dungeon into the, your next nightmare dungeon if you want to loop them right. again. Even How am I finding the mystery boxes? Oh, I have a helltide.com will show you where they all are. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. <laughs> what? Whether they all spawn. Necromancer, pure minions initially. The build went through a lot of different transitions. Couldn't find my goddamn ring. That would literally was the basis for the entire build until the very last day, today, level 97, pretty much. But you know what? The build came together. The character went, came together. I love the gameplay. I love the build. The Necro Dancer wow. is the best. Wow. I just remember preaching that Nightmare Dungeons really scared me in, in the in the in the open beta test. Like I was really scared about that being their in-game like focus for in-game content. And I just remember a lot of people saying like, "Fuck you, dude! You don't know what you're saying. Like, have you you haven't even done them yet? <laughs> like that kind of shit." They're like. I'm just saying, man, Nightmare Dungeons. I've been saying it since the beginning. 1.5 out of 10 in-game content. He's got like 70 health. Look at this Chad of a grizzly. <laughs> Boom. Is even worth it? <laughs> what? This game is fucking dog shit, what bro! The what the fuck is this? For the game itself, we just need more iteration time, more time to actually think about how we want that to actually uh, be available, how um, accessible it should be and so forth for players uh, to to be able to jump into some some dungeons with maybe randos or something like that yeah. if they want to or if they're looking for it um it's a i know it's a topic that a lot of people have been the way that sigils work so that they teleport you to nightmare dungeons on use so they, no way they teleport you or do they create a place to no way they, no they will way. create a, a, a no. waypoint that allows you to teleport but yeah no be way able to teleport to that's no an fucking way right. um but the effect is that you'll be able to teleport no. to your nightmare dungeons and you'll be able to loop from the end of a nightmare dungeon into the no, next nightmare dungeon. If you want to loop them right. again, you may have to leave the...
What in the actual fuck, actually? I didn't think I was in any danger, man. I didn't press my wall crosses. I was like, yeah, I'm not in danger. Like, what? I'm out of the thing. Like, what? Doesn't make any sense, actually. God, I'm getting so many hits missed because she's jumping into me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'm right in character select. You're not going to get those Paragon points that require finishing the Renown Bar until you fill the Renown See, Bar. See, that's what I said. That is what I said. Everybody thought the, they thought the, the other thing. I, when he explained it, I, I got what he said. Everybody un misunderstood like in the eternal realm. If I you have to regrind it every single season. I complete I, the full renowned bar, so I get. Everybody misunderstood that, and, I, and that's why I was if like, I wait, no. Alt, I have. You guys are those, misunderstanding that. That's not what he I said. Have charge. I have the ovals. I have you have to regrind all your renown. Being that are shared between my characters on my. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're establishing the baseline expectations. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I still haven't got these cookies open, so um, I'm making noise so while you're thinking. When we think about gems, um, still uh, there are many colors. There are a few cases here. There are, um, we've seen some cases where uh, uh, a hardcore hero died uh, during teleport, um, <laughs> which is a bug. Um, we've seen potentially it is Some a bug! Bugs with situations where... First, like, six expansions, Wrath of the Lich King is the worst. It's not even close, too. It's the most dog shit. It, it ruined the fucking game. It adds, like, 15 difficulties per fucking raid. Now you got 10 man, 10 man heroic. You got fucking heroic, 25, you got 25 man. It added the stupid achievement system where people fucking chase achievements instead of actually getting shit done in the game. You get fucking that stupid TOGC dog shit raid. You have fucking Ulduar, where the first fucking 30 minutes of your raid, your half of your raid is fucking AFK because nobody wants to do that fucking tank stupid retard fight. That fucking stupid Le Flame Leviathan idiot shit. You know what I mean? How are none of these prompts about this mystical fucking lamp that ignores gravity and logic? Who keeps the law here? Because it's not Newton, that's for sure. The bandit gangs are the law. I feel like maybe this is why so many fucking people are jaded. And like, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with grinding to 100, but... If you're not having fun doing it, and if you think it's grinding, and like it's boring and all this shit, and you don't care about min-maxing, you just want the 100, I don't think there's any level of satisfaction at that level that you're going to be like, Oh my god! Oh, hey, well, my pain and suffering was worth it! It's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Druid also when I die. I mean, if you want to die again, just pick the sword. Ah! 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 Wait. Wait, he can't come through the door. Wait. No, I wanted to cut him into more mobs so I could heal. He can't come through the door. Class looks rough. Bro, I'm clearing the dungeon with the weapon you get for making the character, okay? What do you mean class looks rough? You need to relax. If, if I use regular gear, I can't even test this interaction. Fucking class looks rough, Andes. Play, uh, which is phenomenal. Um, 350 and, uh, million so, hours of play. Uh, again, thank you so much. One Doombringer. Uh, and part of this conversation, I think, really it's is... It's that about, rare. 
What happened? It's with that you? rare. <laughs> uh, how do you sustain your spirit on the build? Well, Sebastian. Uh, so how do you sustain the spirit on the build? Pretty simple. Uh, what you end up doing uh, is you need. Little Sebastian. Fucking guy! Fucking bitch it! Fuck Lizzie, man! Fuck Lizzie! Fuck Lizzie! Fuck Lizzie! Fuck Lizzie! Fuck Lizzie! Fuck! How did the microwave get open? Hold up. Oh, uh, is it? Why? It was just open the whole time? <laughs> He's fucking microwaving coffee. Bitch, you fucking dead! Bitch, you. <laughs> He's microwaving coffee. Is that we are able to hotfix on the server, whether it's server code or server data. And those are ones that generally we can turn around a little bit quicker. Obviously, we want to make sure that the fix is solid, doesn't break anything else. And nerfs my character. Um, Dude, I remember the vibe of like 9 11 in America. I remember, I remember the vibe of sitting down at the table, cereal, and I couldn't get Dragon Ball Z on. Cause, and it, every channel I changed to, there was like this news of this fucking tower like, hitting a plane. I was like, what the fuck's this shit? I was like, what the fuck's this shit? And I, and I went and I went into my dad.